So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. And we are back with some of the most mysterious and unexplained discoveries. And today we're checking out some in Africa. All right. So if you knew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Join the family and hit that like button for more content. Let's check it out. Africa is a place that is arguably one of the most mysterious places in all of the world. It may not seem like it given how much people from the outside of it go there, but now ask yourself the true question. How many people really go all over Africa? Much of the country isn't what many would call a modern civilization, and there are plenty of spots where nature dominates over man. That's why there are numerous archaeological finds there over the years. So with that in mind, here now are 20 unsettling discoveries in Africa nobody can explain. Number 20. Homo Naledi We'll begin by talking about the birth of humans. If you believe in the concept of humans being born through evolution, then you, like many other scientists, would agree that humanity came from Africa at one point in time or another. They began in one place and then grew across the continent, and then over time they expanded to the other parts of the world and evolved to look like the many different cultures we have in the world today. But while many do believe that, it doesn't mean we don't get a surprise every once in a while. In this case, I'm talking about a new member of the ancient human race, and it's one that's called Homo Naledi. This ancient human would be discovered in 2013 in the Rising Star Cave, Cradle of Humankind, South Africa, and it dates back to around 236,000 to 335,000 years ago. But why is this such a disturbing find? Well, any new link to the human race and its possible evolution does have the potential to upset what many scientists believe is the true timeline of our species. And Homo naledi is apparently full of surprises and contradictions. For example, if you look at just the skull, you'll see that it has a very odd mixture of human and non-human features. Some have noted that this ties them both to modern humans and some of the more primitive species that came before. And that's a problem because if the estimations are correct, it would have been living with more big brain versions of humanity, and yet apparently was fine with that and had no issues. Oh, and the cave that it was found in, no one knows how it got there, and they were really deep in the cave, so how did such a primitive yet advanced species get further than other more advanced ones? We don't know, and that's disturbing to a lot of people. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. You know the thing that be getting me when I look back at some of those evolution videos, and they start out in the beginning, and they it transitions over time, is the facial hair. I know it's kind of minute in a sense, but that's what kind of makes me say it can't completely rule it out as our human origin is the similarities in the facial hair across the face for some of us, but I don't know. I don't know why that gets me every time. Or that the centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. If you were to go to the northern parts of Africa, you would eventually find yourself in one of the most inhospitable places in the world the Sahara Desert. Whether you want to admit it or not, deserts are a very important place in the world, and they house more life than you may think. But the reason that most enjoy going there is that they have secrets, which includes a ship that was found in the photo you're seeing now. According to legend, this ship was a famous vessel that sailed the areas around Africa back in the 1960s, and then, without warning, it simply vanished. Fast forward to the modern day, and archaeologists have been able to unearth this ship and it raised many questions when it did. The biggest one being, how did the vessel get so far inland that it would land in the Sahara Desert? Now, we know that if a ship is in a desert area, that it's likely because of water, but it's not that simple in this case. Most times, ships end up in deserts because they were stationed on a lake that dried out, and thus were simply abandoned, and eventually got swallowed by the sands of time. 
This is a ship, a long one at that, that somehow ended up in the most infamous of deserts of the world and was pretty far inland at that. This discovery in Africa scares scientists. Now, scientists will tell you that once upon a time, the Sahara Desert was more of a wetland than a desert, and then the planet shifted until it became a desert. But that was very long ago, and not in the 1960s. So again, how did a ship go from the coast of Africa to the Sahara Desert enough that it could be buried in the sand? And if that ship is there, what other vessels are waiting for us as we dig deeper? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag FancyTopic. Number 19. Sky Blue Stone if you know the history of certain parts of Africa, you'll know that finding valuable stones there is a key part of the continent's culture. From diamonds to rubies to sapphires and various things in between, you'd be hard-pressed to go to a place that doesn't have some kind of rare gem that can be mined and sold. South Africa alone has one of the highest concentrations of diamonds in the world, for better and for worse. But I'm not talking about the standard diamonds. I'm talking about a find that should have been scientifically impossible. In 1990, in Sierra Leone, a very special stone would be discovered. It was sky blue in color and made out of pure oxygen. More specifically, its composition was found oxygen. to be composed 77% of oxygen, along with traces of carbon, silicon, calcium, and sodium. That's not exactly your typical kind of stone in any mm -hmm. sense of the word, but that's why it was so intriguing to people who would eventually go look for this stone and try to analyze it. Every single person who had a look at the stone believed that it was artificial and not a natural rock, and yet they couldn't prove it. The mystery only grew deeper when this rock from heaven kept turning up in dig sites that were confirmed to be an age of over 10,000 years old. So, wow. if someone did artificially make this rock, then they did so without many of the gem refining tools that we have in the common day. That arguably makes it even more unsettling because we already knew that ancient civilizations were capable of wonders well beyond whatever we could do, but to someone artificially making a stone that is made mostly of oxygen and having this kind of color, it just makes you wonder what else they could have made. Number 18. Desert Fairy Circles Every time the phrase, a mystery circle, has popped up in an unexpected place, people go nuts, mainly because this keeps happening all over the world, and many cannot help but wonder why it is the case. We all know about the legendary crop circles that may or may not <laughs> prove the existence of aliens, but there's also the underwater versions that were later proven to be the work of certain species of pufferfish. Now we'll go to the country of Namibia, where mysterious shapes keep showing up that are known as the fairy circles. For over 50 years, ecologists have studied and debated the mystery of the Namib Desert's fairy circles, circular patches, mostly barren of grass, that have spread across over 1,000 miles in the arid grasslands of southern Africa. So We're like a bunch of ringworms. So it's not <laughs> only it one circle like. that's popped up that someone noticed. As you're seeing in these pictures and clips, they are everywhere. And that's always going to get people wondering what happened there, especially since this is a desert which should typically be uninhabited. As you may guess, there are many theories as to what took place here, each with their own level of viableness, if you will. One theory states that it was local termites that were doing this for unknown reasons, and another said that it was likely the grass that was making it happen. Again nah, man, I think we need to pay attention to the planet more because I think this is the Earth trying to tell us something. You know, it's starting to display signs of something that we should be paying attention to. I don't know what it's going to lead to, but this has to be, in my opinion, something significant and something's about to happen. Again, for yeah. unknown reasons. Then, in 2022, a new answer came forward. Mainly, under the strong heat in the desert, these well-established grasses have evolved to create a vacuum system around their roots that draw in any water towards them. So the reason that they're in a circle is that the grasses move there so that they can drain the waters from the middle sections toward the outer rim and thus always stay well-nourished. Number 17. Ruins of Gadai 
The ruins of Gadai are a historical and archaeological site near the Indian Ocean coast of eastern Kenya. This historic town dates back from the 15th century, and through careful preservation, most of the original foundations can still be seen today. One of the things that has helped it to stand out from the crowd is its use of walls. The walls sectioned off those of the wealthy class from those who were farmers and workers in other crafts. What we can definitively tell you is that this place was substantial in size and was mapped out to suit all of its needs. That's where the mystery comes into play though, because despite the well-developed town that it was, it was eventually abandoned. If you're a history buff, you would know that this kind of event has happened all throughout history and with various cultures, but why it happened here is not so clear to those who have studied the ruins. One belief was that there was an invading army that caused the town to be deserted, and another states that they were frequently attacked by raiders, and so they simply moved on to try and have a better life somewhere else. One final theory would suggest that it was the natural conditions of the area that had made life quite miserable after a time. No matter the reason though, they did leave and they never came back. Thus, we may forever be wondering why that was. Number 16. Madagascar's Stone Forest Hearing that there are some strange stone outcroppings in the world may not be the most unnatural thing that you've heard given that we live in a world with places like Stonehenge and other things. But when it comes to Madagascar's stone forest, it becomes a bit of a different beast. Specifically, you will find this stone forest in a national park, a place that's not exactly visited as often as it should be given what's there. But then again, when you have a forest that's made of stone, that makes it kind of hard to get through and Yo. around, and so people are just fine looking at it from afar. The park's great block Agreed. of Jurassic stone has dissolved over the millennia into a labyrinth of knife-edged towers, slotted canyons, and wet caves that all ward off humans and harbor a variety of other life. So, not unlike with the rest of Madagascar, you'll find many unique and atypical species around. You just have to find a way to get to them first. As you might have guessed, the stone was shaped by water that ran through it over the years, not unlike how the Grand Canyon and other constructions were born. The way it was done with the stone forest was rather complex, and not something that you see every day. You can hopefully understand why many are fascinated by this, as a sharp forest of stone is not something that you come across very often, and thus it deserves to be studied. Number 15. Uh, I didn't I would have never for a second thought that water did that. Rainwater did that. I was thinking along the lines of maybe a volcano or something, you know what I mean? Something had to, something to do with it. But rainwater? Wow. The Bocconi Ruins. Bocconi ruins are the remains of a society that are being heavily studied due to the fact that they were much more advanced than they likely should have been. The society that lived here were comprised of people like farmers, forgers of weapons and tools, along with miners and traders. The smelting of iron and copper, along with the forging of weapons and tools from iron ore, and mixing this with charcoal and fluxes to get steel, takes a very specialized skill set, even some form of chemistry to get the mixture correct for the steel to be strong enough to be of use. And yet, these people were able to do it. Their skills also translated into their farming methods, which were rather robust and meant to help ensure the health of their crops, while also guiding cattle to where they needed to be. Sadly though, one of the reasons that the culture and people who live there are not around anymore is that there were plenty of outsiders who decided that the area they lived in should be theirs, and so the people tried to defend themselves, but since only the ruins remain, you can probably guess what the outcome was. Number 14. Exotic Pets when you think about certain cultures in Africa, like with the ancient Egyptians, you likely picture not only the grand architecture that they helped to construct, but also the lavishness that the royalty at the top got to enjoy. I'm not only talking about the finest of foods and the grandest of jewels, but the animals that they had under their care. 
Over time, many of the zoos and exotic animals have been recovered within the burial sites and towns of Egypt. While that may not sound unsettling at first, it's all about the details. Mainly, there were plenty of pets that were found that were bound and even beaten by their presumed masters. What's more, some of them were killed and then buried with their master upon the human's death. And if you don't know, the ancient Egyptians believed that things that people were buried with would cross over into the next life with them, so being buried with their adored pets would help them in the life beyond. When you consider that some of the animals they found in these burial sites included everything from monkeys to tigers and even hippos, you get to see that both then and now, people certainly loved their exotic pets. Still do. Number 13. Burial Monument as I just touched upon, burial sites were a key thing for many cultures in Africa, and it goes well beyond Egypt that you may find interesting things within those sites. For example, in Kenya, a very unique burial monument would be discovered in 2018. A team of researchers from Stony Brook University and the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History would discover a massive, elaborate cemetery within a valley in Kenya that is the largest and oldest in Eastern Africa. One of the reasons that's very odd is that the region is known for its heat and repeatedly gets over 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite that heat, though, researchers wanted to study the area due to the people that once lived there who made a massive site surrounded by pillars. Specifically, they built a platform that was approximately 30 meters in diameter with a deep cavity where about 580 men, women, and children had been buried side by side, Goodness. each wearing nearly the same amount of ornaments and no sign of special treatment. That's a fairly large burial area, and it's something that unearthed many treasures when the time came to look into it. And if such a structure was there, who knows what else could be around in that area of Africa. Number 12. Stone Circles now I'm talking about the stone circles of Senegambia, which are a famous tourist attraction in Africa and were believed to have been made between the 3rd century BC and the 16th century AD based upon the things that were dug up from where some of those stones once stood. And lest you think I'm talking about one singular stone circle, that wouldn't exactly be unsettling. But instead, there are over a thousand of these stone circles and a total of 28,931 monoliths that are scattered across a wide but what do the the rocks on top of the stones represent you know what i mean this also gives me like burial vibes but at the same time you know how we go and we put flowers on a grave or we do something maybe they put a rock for each year or something like that i don't know just throwing things out there until they say what sticks but this gives off those type of vibes to me as well you see the rocks how they're stacked up that it's got to be something significant to it. Area. That's what gets people thinking, because Sounds making a stone circle in a singular spot could be understood depending on what a person and their beliefs were. But creating this many circles with so many stone monoliths, that's a dedication that could only be found within a vast culture. Further dating on the stones would say that they were likely constructed over the course of about 1,500 years, and adding to the notion to the dedication of the craft. Most of these stones are associated with burial sites that are nearby, and one could only surmise See? what would be found if those sites were dug up to expose what the stones were protecting. And that's where I think they should stop. I don't think they need to go no further. Leave it alone. You don't want to interrupt that. And uh, yeah, yeah, leave that alone. Number 11, Mysterious Elephant Deaths. To be blunt here, when it comes to the death of an animal, if it's not natural, it's something that should be taken notice of. That goes double for when the animals that are dying are already in small numbers, as is the case with elephants. Back in 2020, a year that we all wish we could forget, a string of elephant deaths would hit the nation of Botswana. That was really not good because that nation is home to a large amount of elephants. Now if you're wondering if the deaths were caused by poachers, thankfully that was not actually the case. However, the reasoning for the deaths was not much better, as it would be found to have been caused by a bacteria. 330 elephants died from ingesting cyanobacteria, and when you consider how poor the overall population of elephants are, that's a really bad thing. 
This bacteria is toxic, and it can occur naturally in standing water, sometimes growing into large blooms known as blue-green algae. It's believed that it was climate change which allowed these bacteria to bloom in the way that they did, and then go on to kill the elephants. Obviously, if things do not change in the future, more outbreaks like this could wipe the elephants off of the entire map. Number 10. Africa's Oldest Dinosaur no matter what continent that you live on, if you're able to find a dinosaur that's never been discovered before or has a massive significance to the place, you have made an incredible find. Last year, scientists would unearth in Zimbabwe the remains of Africa's oldest dinosaur, which is said to have lived more than 230 million years ago. Now, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that that's a really long time. Just saying. Facts. This dinosaur stood one meter tall, ran on two legs, and had a long neck and jagged teeth. So it may not be the biggest dinosaur, but that doesn't mean that it didn't have an impact in the ancient world. Curiously, it was one that was related to another well-known species that walked on four legs, so we have some clear divergence there. Fossils of creatures like this are very rare, and so it makes you wonder how many others there might be out there waiting to be discovered. Number 9. The Crazy Beast Staying with the age of dinosaurs, it should be noted that not everything that lived in that age was dinosaur in nature. There were birds and fish, and even mammals that lived during those times, and one of them was on Madagascar and was known as the Crazy Beast. Yes, that's actually what they named it. The creature in question left a fossil that was 66 million years old when it was discovered, one that would be found that was still rather small, but it apparently had not fully matured before it died. To give you a better perspective of what the creature was related to, it seemed to have the look of a badger, and due to its life in the age of dinosaurs, it would have likely hidden underground in order to avoid being eaten. Number 8. Ancient Tools how long has mankind been using tools to get things done? That's a question that many have tried to answer Good over question. the years, and there's never been a definitive answer, because we typically keep finding new examples of older tools that then rewrites the history books. One case from Kenya, a tool would be found that's believed to be 3.3 million years old, and if you're curious, that was long before humanity was said to be thought of or on the road to being born. And yet, there was a tool that was used for some purpose. So, who exactly used the tool? Well, it's hard to say, but it's clearly an animal from ancient times. And if that is the case, that drastically changes what one could say about the intelligence of ancient creatures, because they clearly knew how to use what was around them to do what needed to be done. Number 7. The African Boabab Tree The Boabab Tree has another title on the African continent, the Tree of Life. That title would be earned for multiple reasons, one of which is that it endures in harsh conditions on the continent, and another is that it's been used in remedies by people of Africa. Oh, and if you're wondering how long the species has been around, that would be over 200 million years, and that means that it has survived events that have wiped out numerous other plants and wildlife. So yes, it is a tree of life indeed. Thanks to its evolution over the years, it stores vast amounts of water within its trunk, and that allows it to bear fruit even when it's the dry season. What that proves is that trees can be smarter than we give them credit for, <laughs> and they're definitely going to outlast us. Number 6. Space Diamonds did you know that there are diamonds and rare minerals that can be found in outer space? It is true. There's even a confirmed planet out there that is basically comprised of diamonds. So now just right. imagine the joy that some would feel when a meteor would crash in Africa and had within it some space diamonds. But wait, there's more. Scientists believe that these diamonds actually came from a dwarf planet that was smashed by a large asteroid around four and a half billion years ago. They also state that this dwarf planet planet may have well been part of our solar system once upon a time. The space diamonds are harder than the ones that we have. Granted, the ones in the meteor were really thin, but if you can find bigger ones, you may well be in business. Hmm. Number 5. Worshipping Pythons 
No matter nope. what the culture may be, there are always those who believe nope. and worship things that are atypical in the eyes of most. A great example can be found in Africa, where there are multiple cultures and nations that worship pythons. I yes. just don't think I could ever trust a snake. You know, and I see these videos of people doing it. You, and then you see the new wave that's out there, too, of people with these alligators. They just keep popping up. And I guess this done took over my algorithm because that's all I see now is people so, being so close to this. You just can't trust these animals, man. Oh. They worship a snake that is well known to be deadly at oh. times. And not only do they worship it, they make sure to take special care of these snakes when they come across them. If you do find a python in your home, you're supposed to use special tools in order to remove the serpent so that it's not to be harmed. And if you find a dead one, well, then you're to give it a proper burial. Some parts of Africa revere the snake so much that it can be considered royalty. And if you were to kill wow. one, it would be a form of taboo. Number four. And that's stuff we need to know traveling to other countries, bro. You know what I mean? You can mess around and kill something that would be no problem over here in the States, but over there, probably earn you jail time. Stone Circle at Mazora. Now we go back to weird circles and another stone circle to boot, but this one is found in Morocco. Consisting of 167 standing stones that form a circle with a diameter of around 60 meters, the ancient site near the rural village of Mazora has fascinated and puzzled historians for decades because they don't know why this particular stone circle was made. Some feel that it was a burial site that was made for an ancient king, but others would note that it looks like other stone circles that were made in various parts of the world, so it could have well been connected to a larger religious system. It seems that no matter where the culture exists, one thing is common about these types of installations. They used rocks and held them in high value. Number 3. The Dendera Light Easily one of the most important parts of Egypt in today's world are the hieroglyphics that adorn the many, many walls of the ancient tombs and structures that the Egyptians built. These are a key insight into the culture and what they believed in. However, when it comes to the Dendera light, it's a matter of much more controversy. That's because this light was mentioned in a hieroglyph, and there are some who believe that what is being depicted is a kind of electric Electricity. light. Thus, you can see why it's so controversial because for all the marvels that ancient Egypt had, it did not have any electricity, or did it? We obviously cannot say for sure, but clearly, the Dendera light was impactful enough on its people to make a visual memory out of it, so you can simply make your own guess. And before you say it, yes, I know that Egypt is also part of Asia, but I simply read what's put in front of me. Number 2. Nubian Stone Tablets Hearing of some mysterious stone tablets in Africa is another thing that should trip your memory, given what's been found on the continent in the past. Archaeologists excavating a vast and ancient city of the dead in Africa back in 2018 would recover the largest collection of texts in the mysterious language of the Kushites. Dating back to 2,700 years ago, the find included extraordinary tablets that commemorated the dead. These were found in a burial site in Sudan that was known as an Acropolis for not one, but two different kingdoms. Those kingdoms are what those tablets depict, and that's why so many want to learn more from them so that they can get more insight into the people who live there. Number 1. Hidden Chamber of the Great Pyramid it's very appropriate that this list ends with talk of a Great Pyramid of Giza. This is one of the wonders of the world, and it is indeed wonderful, so much so that people have tried to study it in every feasible way so that its secrets could be unlocked. And that's where a certain unsettling mystery comes into play, because scan- I didn't even know they let you go like inside like that or get that or, or walk on top of it like that. Oh, that makes me want to go even more now. ...of the Great Pyramid point to a hidden chamber of some wow. kind being undiscovered within. Granted, it cannot be confirmed as a chamber, as many are labeling it a void for now, but the Egyptians were meticulous for everything that they did, and so it would be an odd thing to make a void in a pyramid for a pharaoh unless it served some kind of purpose. That's all from the land of Africa and the things that have been found there over the years. So they got a blue diamond made out of oxygen, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, it's some discoveries out here, man. 
And we're going to keep hunting them down, fam. I hope y'all was intrigued and, and mesmerized by some of the things and, and just mind blown by some of the things we've seen today, bro. But we're not stopping. Y'all stick around and stay tuned, man. It's going to get better and we're going to find some even more crazier things. All right, it's your boy. Stick around and stay tuned. So next one, I'm gone. Peace.